Life is a test, brothers and sisters. Life is a test. When Allah created Adam alayhi salam and told the angels to prostrate to Adam, do you know why? He told them, I know that which you do not know. This creature that I'm creating now, this human being, is not like any creature that you've ever imagined, O angels. Yeah, you don't have desires. These ones have desires. And they're going to beat their desires because they love me. And I love them. Conviction is so beautiful that when something goes wrong, you tell yourself, for me, it is wrong. For Allah, it is right. For Allah, it is destiny. He planned it for you. Don't let sin make you comfortable. Don't ever become comfortable with sin. Because once you become comfortable with sin, your happiness is snatched away, gone. And gone for a long, long time. There is not a soul on earth who has everything because you came onto this earth in order to be tested. Your examination paper was already written by Allah before you were born. So what do you do? Well, what you do is you have to look at the examination question. You can't skip it because you might fail. You don't know the next questions that are going to come. You have to ask yourself, how did my teacher teach me to go through this question? What answer should I put here? What should I do? Who's your teacher? Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Where did he get the answers from? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So anything that happens in your life, Ask yourself, how did Allah teach me to go through this and follow it blindly? Subhanallah. Allah allows you to meet people. For you, it's a coincidence. For him, it's not a coincidence. It was planned and designed by Allah. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, When a servant says, Subhanallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells the angels, Oh my angels, write for my servant an abundance of my mercy. And when my servant says, Allahu Akbar, I tell my angels, write for my servant an abundance of my mercy. Amazing, right? Now listen to this last one. And when my servant says, La ilaha illallah, Allah tells the angels, O oh my angels, write for my servant an abundance of my love. Imagine something so simple. And your Lord tells his angels to write for you an abundance of his love. Keep calling out to Allah. Keep asking him. Don't be tired of asking Allah. Allah loves it when you repeat and repeat. And keep going. Even if it took 10 years, I promise you, it's coming. Success and victory ultimately is all yours for as long as you have Allah by your side.